Hi, I'm Peter Voorhees. I'm a myeloma physician at the Levine Cancer Institute in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm here in Orlando, Florida at ASH 2019. So there are a number of uh, exciting things that are happening in the myeloma space uh, here in Orlando at ASH uh, 2019. So I am certainly interested in seeing some of the new data on the emerging BCMA or B cell maturation antigen uh, targeted agents. Uh, one of the oral presentations that we'll see here uh, at ASH this year is um, a, a presentation looking at the uh, bispecific uh, BCMA antibody that's currently in development uh, with uh, Celgene. Uh, Dr. Uh, Costa is presenting this data, and although it's very early days with relatively short uh, follow-up, and it's a first-in-human dose escalation study, um, at the uh, higher doses where uh, a clinical uh, efficacy signal is being seen, you know, we're seeing a, a high proportion of patients uh, achieving responses. And these are not just partial responses. We're seeing patients going into very good partial responses, complete responses, including minimal residual disease negative uh, complete responses. So I think that this particular study is incredibly important because just like the AMG 420 story, it tells you that one, BCMA is a terrific target, not just in the CAR T cell space, but in the bispecific antibody space well. And then obviously we have Belantamab mafidotin, which is a BCMA targeted at ADC. So I think it's uh, safe to say that BCMA targeted therapy is here for multiple myeloma and the results look very exciting. If with longer follow-up, uh, the results of this cell gene by specific antibody hold up, it'll be interesting to see what kind of impact that has on the development of CAR T cell therapy for multiple myeloma uh, going forward. Uh, another study, or a couple of studies I should say, that I'm very interested in while I'm here at ASH is uh, similar to the Griffin trial, which is a combination of daratumumab with carfilzomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone. And you know, we'll be seeing uh, data here presented uh, both by Dr. Costa uh, and colleagues, uh, as well as by uh, Dr. Langren in the Memorial Sloan Kettering Group. And uh, what they're going to report here uh, at ASH is uh, very uh, impressive uh, depth of response data and MRD negative rates with that particular four drug combination in newly diagnosed myeloma patients.